Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our modded series. So today's episode is actually going to be quite a big one. There's a few things to go through. And why don't we start with the big announcement that the developers made in their most recent developers log. What they have just announced is we will be getting golems very soon. That is of course going on the experimental branch first however pretty exciting thing so what are golems in uh, Dimmerborn and what they're saying here that they are essentially mechanized beavers that perform most duties of regular beavers they're very efficient and don't worry about mundane things such as food or sleep so essentially volunteers that don't want to eat anything we don't have to make, give them any food. And what it sounds like also that they will be working for us 24-7. Well, it's not as easy and overpowered as it may sound. There is a bit of a bit of a twist to it. So so yeah, essentially we get we're getting the barrel bots, which will be for the folk tails, and cock heads for the iron teeth. There is a bit of a description here as well why they're doing it, but I'll drop the link in below so you can read it in your own time. Let's skip to the fun part and it seems to assemble a column you will need limbs chassis and a head so all of those are made in the column part factory so another building different recipes and um, yeah then eventually they will be turned into a column in obviously the uh, column factory so that sounds all pretty pretty exciting and there's a few downsides to them as well and now that comes to the maintenance really if you don't provide the maintenance that they need they can break down and cause bigger disasters as well they do take some fuel and uh, they have have charging stations which uh, you know makes sense and they don't have an infinite lifespan so I guess uh, yeah that's just to reduce the reliance on them being the only thing that we'll use in the game and that seems good we do have a disposal facility so we can um, recycle the worn down mechanized beavers or the columns and also the maintenance sta station that we already mentioned before as well and what seems really cool and already gives me a lot of ideas is the control tower which seems to increase their efficiency and get a massive boost. So I can already see us building some bigger complexes using um, different things that the, if we are doing modded run, then using the modded parts as well. Definitely going to have to look at some different designs, how we can... Uh, how we can build it but uh right yeah that's pretty much to the end of this and uh, the last section when can we have it apparently pretty soon in the experimental branch and uh yeah so i'm actually super excited for this i always love automation in games and uh, dimmerborn is no exception since we don't really have much right now now with that being said super excited for the for the update and i know it's going to take quite a long time for it to reach the main branch so what i was thinking there's a few options we could try and fast track the current playthrough which i hate to do because we put so much time into this already and uh, second option is to start a new custom map yeah i think i'll go with custom most likely and um i think we'll also do what we'll do is skip the early game and maybe uh, you know or condense it into into a couple of episodes until we uh, reach the mid game where we can already start exploring the new buildings and start making some columns as well so yeah i'm a little torn on how i want to approach this for for this channel and if i'll be able to keep the both both of those playthroughs going at the same time but i guess we'll we'll see as well if you have any thoughts and ideas on this feel free to leave them in the comments below and the last option uh, of course we also have the uh, hopefully it can work where we take this colony obviously make a backup copy as well just in case anything goes wrong and take this colony into the experimental branch but uh yeah let's see how it goes Right, so I think it's about the time when we get into this episode and go through a few few big changes that we've had since the last time we visited the Beaver Life. Also, again, thank you so much for all the comments as well. I think I've managed to get a little bit better when it comes to replying to them. There's a few to catch up, but uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you so much for for the ideas and especially the comments about this baby dragon uh, wheat field as well, which is getting a little flooded right now, but. Yeah, I was kind of proud of it. Okay, so looking at over over here, what we now... Let's bring the UI back for, for this one. And let's get rid of the water. The power lines have been connected. The reason why it's not working right now is because it's flooded, but I do have the power network all the way through. Then we've also managed to hide 
this farm that is also in the reach of this district center. So all this farm does is provide us with some seeds and keeps those sunflowers going along these ruins as well. So it's starting to look pretty uh, pretty nice and nice and good. I do have trees plant, uh, plant out here as well, but we just haven't had enough time to plant them all. Then moving in here, yeah, we just uh, demolished a whole layer, the rest of it as well that was, was left in here. And I have tidied up this section, so I'm starting to get rid of all these log piles. And we're, we're putting in a little con contraption to uh, stack the Iron Teeth industrial log piles. Other than that, I think that's pretty standard in here. Let's have a look on this area. Yeah, I took another level down. I think only in this one, so no big changes in here either. I know you're all waiting for the big reveal and to go through the pyramid, but let me just quickly check. Okay, so everything seems to be done here as well. Actually, we do have a few dynamites. Alright, so now that this is done, I think it is time. Uh, don't have the range just yet. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at the pyramid then. So what we have here, let me pause it for a second so we can go through everything. I realized the building of this pyramid was going to take a very long time. So first thing that I had to do, which I don't know why I didn't already do a long time ago. It's a, it's a very good question that I don't have the answer to. We should have done this uh, yeah, quite a while ago, but now this is an independent colony or district at least. And I did it once we had this per, uh, district center completed. So I guess I was in some ways waiting for this to be done and then we could put things where they kind of want to be. This area here is all temporary and we'll get to this in a second. Right, so we managed to get the, all these arches done and the district center right on top where we want this to be. Then we also have the flame of progress and another two are penciled in as well, but we just don't have enough blanks yet. So I've paused them for the time being until we get the all the stairs done. All right, next question. Why does this pyramid look so funky and what, what's going on here? Well, I'm glad you asked. And uh, I think it first happened when we came up with this pyramid idea that the end goal was to put some roads in here, maybe some water, maybe make it look like a hanging gardens sort of theme in some ways, or at least draw some inspiration from that. So I started playing or toying with the idea of having like a level here, but it, it was quite tough. It's uh, It messed up the whole design or the looks or the aesthetics of the pyramid itself. And it, it, it actually took me a very long time to get it where I'm actually kind of interested now. So yeah, I did the levels and uh, I think let's skip to the last part then. It's a little difficult to see, but essentially to cut down the amount of, what is it, the levees that I was going to put here with my, I wish I had a screenshot of the last version. It, it was just mental because I wanted to make it taller, wider, bigger, you know, all that. So what's going to happen now, at least for this corner of, uh, I guess we're in stage two now. Because the other corners are kind of, well, except this one. The design was almost, you know, right and the one section was done. So this is the phase two. And what's going to happen here are quite a few things, actually. All these while I've left the caps in here. I was initially thinking of doing only about a couple of them. But then whilst I was building it, I suddenly realized that, hey, if we already have one or two, why don't we increase it even more and turn it into a bit of a, uh, like a hanging gardens with decorations, but also... If we have this water already here and we have the gravity kind of i guess then why don't we try and make some power out of it yeah so the water is going to go in from the top at the start i think we're going to kick start it with some uh, drop off points i know it's going to take a long time but we'll just try it let's see what what happens once it fills up if it does i'm sure it will then we do have a dam in here once it overfills all the excess water is going to go down to the next level and then once this one fills up, it's going to go down another level and so on, so on until it reaches all the way here, goes back to the pool for the viewers to be picked up again. Then I remembered that we are playing on the latest update that has also the deep mechanical water pumps or just the normal mechanical water pumps. So I was thinking if I mess up this design, most likely on this side of the pyramid, because that's the 
exit or we could technically do it from here as well if we wanted to so let's let's use this as an example we're obviously using the deep ones because we are doing a modded run and we can do so so we could place it somewhere i think it was somewhere here yep looks like it's six levels up we could place one here block this off with levees so that the water only runs let's say through here and stops in here so then it sucks up all the water drops it in the next level and we could do the same thing here create like a levy channel that goes all the way i don't know somewhere about here and we could have the second mechanical pump here if we wanted to right so that already takes 700 horse or hamster power already which i don't like i would personally prefer to have only one of these bad puppies here if i can of course and yeah just spit the water onto the top level but that means it can only be six levels deep i think right now it's difficult to see that's one two three four five six let's say i have to put another levy down here and then the whole stretch of it has to be the same height so it's not going to be on the floor and that kind of limits how far hmm we could try it if that makes sense what i've just been blabbing about and uh yeah we can probably improve it in the future but that's uh something i wanted to actually let's let's get rid of it in case i forget and they do build it because it takes uh 50 metal right so that's uh, kind of like the early version and ideas so we'll have the water running water dump in here at the start at least and then uh turn it into once we have the wheels in the only ones we can use though let's look at our options again we have the large water wheel which uh, is a bit crazy it's too too wide and it needs a support platform and you can imagine it just would have been super wide it might be more efficient i guess i'll have to run the numbers and see how many we can fit here but that means we have to redesign this whole thing which i might do it on the other side then the second option is let's see folktales same similar problem again it doesn't need to be sitting on the levee however it's too wide so brings us to the last option not sure how efficient these will be but we could just put a whole lot of these compact water wheels here i think it's worth a try because i'm assuming i haven't seen a lot of other or actually any other youtubers recently i'm under the assumption that most people don't use those and everyone's probably going for the large water wheels but i might be completely wrong as well anyways we're going to test out the small ones let's see how it works if it does, you know, at least pay for the 700 hamster power for the deep mechanical water pump, then I think we'll be already happy. If not, we'll leave it at least for a little while and see how many beavers does it take to operate this contraption here. And um, because this pyramid is going to look a little wonky, but I think it makes sense because this, remember, is an apocalypse. There's not going to be uh, many beautiful things left in this world and things have to be practical, right? So... I don't want this to be dead space so yeah it's gonna be a little wonky i was thinking of if we make it symmetrical maybe doing another side on on this side of the pyramid so we have the smaller corners two smaller ones and two big ones so it i don't know what it's gonna look like some crazy futuristic project i suppose right and then uh, just to throw some crazy even more crazy ideas in here i was actually also thinking about what if we Put platforms over these things here and get building this tower up and put some housing and maybe some other buildings in here but because we have such a massive project in here i don't want to do it just yet so i'll leave the rest of the buildings up here paused and we'll problem with you no materials okay let's fix it in a second i'll leave it paused so yeah there is an option to go up into the sky in the future if we can but let's focus on one thing first i really want to get this built so what we have here is the good old lock piles that we've had for quite a few seasons and uh, let's lo look at the newest edition so something i feel really sad that i forgot about is i'm pretty sure i mentioned before that in this run through we will focus more on the beaver well-being because it gives so many bonuses but somehow as we progressed into this series i forgot about it so what i've tried to do here is provide them with all sorts of leisure and decoration so we've got the temple here the Lidos, the mod bath, and yes, I did figure out finally that these mod baths can be placed in the water and they're not going to flood, so that's good to know. And I've just branched off this um, power shaft here as well to to give us a bit of power. Then I do have the, the roofs in here, beaver statue, some uh, shrubs, and uh, shrines as well. So they're getting pretty hefty bonuses. Well-being is 14, 
I think some might be even higher if I'm not... Yeah, some also get the Flame of Progress, especially the Builders. Uh, so things are looking not too bad at all. I was thinking of getting books going and further increasing their working speed by another 20%, but that's a, that's a bit of a work in progress as well. So let's look at what's happening with the logs. Yeah, that's uh, definitely a bit of a problem because the amount of logs coming in is lower than the amount of logs going out and our beavers in this district are just not able to keep up. They've got quite a few logs, but I don't think we have enough. Okay, there are a few builder huts, but they're all empty because they have the lowest priority and the hauler posts have a slightly higher one, of course. So what we could just to put a temporary fix here. It's, um, I know I've said it a lot, but it's just temporary. And a higher priority. Okay, there you go. Build this, please, and maybe we can get some more hauler beavers. Now we ran out of gears at some point as well, so we do have a few of those in here. Extra ones. I did notice, I forgot to mention it, but the drought is gonna be here in 2.7 days. I think our water situation is pretty good. Yeah, everything's already full, so nothing to worry about. Famous last words, but yeah, I think we'll be fine. And there, then we have a few more water pumps here. Ooh, another big one. I forgot, this was a massive pain. I have put in a levee wall in here, and that's keeping or allowing us to keep a lot more water in this area. Now the flow isn't as good as we want. This could be a pretty good spot actually for a few more power wheels. But uh, yeah, I should definitely widen this area here as well, making another one perhaps, and then we'll put the wheels right in front of it. Okay, lots of ideas, lots of thoughts, but let's have a look at this. We definitely need more logs. Okay, let's say you're pretty full. What are you holding? Quite a few things as well. Not sure what you're holding, but that's okay. Got some logs over here. Yeah, I think everything's disconnected. Oh dear. Okay, we'll take you out as well. How about that? And we can already see all these beavers coming in. So yeah, it's pretty self-sufficient already. They are pumping their... Oh, it's flooded. Well, never mind. It was self-sufficient. There we go. We'll open these pumps again. And um, the only thing we're exporting from the main district... I added a few more beavers to work in here. And we're sending some bread and grilled potatoes. Right, so the priority, hopefully, yes, is the stairs first. So that way we have a bit more access and we shall do so also from this side. Please get this built. And with the wider layout as well, if I bring the blueprint up again, what is good is it allows us to have this extra platform or, or space in here where they can now start going um, towards the towards the levees and um, to be a bit more efficient what I did is I let them build the first two layers which they can reach I think on most of these lines so that way yeah all these are done already then two two outer layers they can't reach the third level but that's okay we are gonna leave them for last I think I noticed just now yeah there is another lay there so why don't we unpause the Yep, all these. I will think I'll leave the middle ones paused. Uh, these ones here, just in case someone gets stuck. And it would be a shame to destroy levees because logs are pretty valuable to us. Now, what's happening? This is built, right? Okay, let's have as many beavers as we can. Well, that's not a lot, is it? No. Okay. Uh, can we have more beavers here? Oh, it's the beds. Okay. Okay, and water, wait a second, 200 water left only. How is that possible? I will see, see tomorrow what's going on here. Yeah, let's do that, let's skip the night and we'll come back in a second. Okay, yeah, water level is very low, so maybe we just don't have enough pumps is... Yeah, my prediction, I mean, 139 beavers and 8 pumps, I think it should be... Okay, are we exporting any? No, shouldn't do. Hmm, really bizarre. Okay, numbers are going up. Maybe our haulers or maybe, yeah, there was a death wave or something happened. Perhaps, I don't really know. Anyways, I think it's safe to leave. It's almost 200 and it seems to be going up slowly, but shortly. So yeah, let's leave it for now. Now, another thing. There were some comments and 
I'd like to mention quite uh, one of them at least. There was a comment about the amusement park or the theme park that we wanted to build here. And yes, that is still the plan and whilst I was sort of trying to visualize how I want things as well, I started to think that um, it's not actually the way I want to build things and kind of wish I thought about it before. Right now we have a district center here. One, well, one's there, but we all know what's going to happen to that one, hopefully in the future. One about here, and we used to have another one somewhere, I think it was here. So in the ideal world, what I'd like to, or would have liked to have, is to build the amusement park. Because the goal of the amusement park is to make it as busy as we can. So the best thing would have been to actually build it somewhere here. So half of it is on this side. So that way we could break it into sectors... Uh, four sectors or quadrants and then this corner here would be only accessible for the beavers in dragon keep this sector for the future one that we are i think we're going to build one here so that we could have access to this temple here again and then uh third one here and then fourth one we could have another district here so that way when it comes to the evening time everyone will be running into the same sector sorry the same area but they would be in different sectors so Visually, it looks like everyone's in the same place and the amusement park is a very busy place in the evenings. Uh, yeah, that would have been smart. But right now, only the beavers in this district, they're the only ones that will be able to enjoy uh, the theme park in here. Which is kind of sad, but I mean, I guess we still have the option to do what I just described in here without really having to destroy a lot. It's just the trees and maybe a few houses. But... I guess maybe that's something I'll wait for your thoughts and ideas on this as well. And uh, yeah, that's uh, one of the bigger ones that I was thinking about. Oh, what happened? Let's bring it down to zero just to have a quick look. I just realized I forgot to show, yeah. So the power lines are running straight through. I had to cut it down a little bit. And now it's all connected up. Let's go back up here to show you something else that's interesting. So one of the roads is actually a level lower so we have like a bridge here so the way i see it is it's a it's a, it's a highway and then we have this another road that runs uh, on the top straight through the pyramid this way so if we wanted to create a different ac access point in the future for this side then we could see viewers running through the pyramid both ways hopefully Hopefully we can expand into this zone here a bit more as well. Uh, and that's how I would like to keep it as busy as we can. Let's see how are the things. So we are building the levels already. And it seems the top ones are going in quite nicely. And these should be all loud as well, right? Uh, do we? Oh, we do need this one. Yeah, we're just missing a few. Uh, but that is okay. Right. Okay, there we go. So here's the progress update. This is going to take quite a lot of time but it is rather boring to watch this being constructed and unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna do a time lapse because yeah it just takes long long time I have to manually every now and then just fill up this area again with logs so yeah a bit of a nightmare but what I might also do maybe export some of these logs from here I know they don't have access I just have to figure this out a little bit better but yeah, that's essentially what we what we have right now. Another thing I did want to mention is I just wanted to thank the people that are on Discord. They gave us a great idea to throw some more community events. So I absolutely love this idea. I just would like to apologize that I haven't had time to really put any thought into this yet. But I think in the next couple of weeks, we'll probably see the launch of our first, I guess it is in a way more like an official one i see the first sort of what was it when we did the giveaway like the first event in a way but yeah the actual events now um give me another week or two and then i'll announce the first one so again thanks for very much for the idea itself and also a few examples that you gave me we'll definitely do that and i think in the long run as well what would be cool is if we can turn it into a monthly thing as we as we grow but let's you know, I don't want to make big promises. Let's let's see how it goes. Now that we have closed out the going medieval, I know different game, bit of a general update, I suppose. But I have been eyeing out a different game, which I hope we can start soon. 
and uh, it is very similar to going medieval it seemed to be uh, quite a hit even though it took a while to get going eventually we still had quite a few people that really loved it and uh, cheered for our colonist in that series so uh, yeah i think soon enough we'll we'll have another similar game where we can do a few episodes on but okay so that's gonna be it i think there has been enough updates of the videos and the channel itself so uh, let's see how it goes i'll do some more off camera work here and as soon as we have the levees built we'll have our next episode out as well so in the meanwhile thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and i look forward to seeing you again <laughs>